Welcome to the fourth video in our Advanced Squad Leader tutorial series. In our first three videos, we learned how to interpret the information on both leader counters and squads. We also learned how to use the IFT infantry fire table. And now we're going over the modifiers to the final dice rolls, which affect the results on the IFT. In the last video, we learned how leaders can affect the final dice roll. Today, we're going to learn how terrain and range affects the firepower of the squads as well as the weapons they are using. To stay consistent, we'll be using the Russian 447 squad shooting at a 467 German squad. Remember, the normal range of the 447 squad is 4, as noted by the second 4. What that means in game turns is that at a range of 2 to 4 hexes, the 447 Russian squad will shoot with its full firepower of 4. This 4 firepower can be doubled, tripled, or halved depending upon the situation. Continuing with our example of the 447 squad, if there was a German 467 squad in the hex right next to it, it would fire on the 8 firepower column. Because point blank fire, which is what this is, would double the 447's firepower from 4 to an 8. If the 447 and its target 467 were in the same hex, the 447 would use triple point blank fire, so the squad would be shooting on the 12 firepower column. Finally, if the range between the 447 and its target were 5 to 8 hexes, then the 447 would use area fire so that the firepower would be cut in half to a firepower of 2. As a side note, if the final firepower of a squad lands between two columns, you use the lower of two columns. So, if the final firepower calculated for a unit was a 3, then you would use the two firepower column. This green clump is the classic woods as seen in Advanced Squad Leader. Its TEM, Terrain Effects Modifier, is plus 1. So, if a unit is in the woods, when it gets shot at, it will receive a plus 1 TEM to the dice roll, no matter how much firepower is used. So now, tying all this together, a Russian 447 shooting point-blank at a German 467 in the trees, or woods, would fire on the 8 firepower column, but the final dice roll would be modified by a plus 1. If the 447 and the 467 were in the same hex, the final roll would be on the 12 firepower column, but they would have to add 1 to the final dice roll. And finally, if they were 5 to 8 hexes away, then the 447 would shoot on the 2 firepower column, and again, plus 1 would have to be added to the dice roll to come up with the final dice roll. The other types of terrain most common in advanced squad leader are wooden buildings, depicted by brown buildings like seen here, and stone buildings which are gray buildings seen here. The TEM of a wooden building is plus two, and the TEM of a stone building is plus three. We will use the 447, shooting at normal range, to show how the TEM affects the dice rolls and the results against the target. In this example, it is the Russian prep fire phase. The 447 fires at the 467 in open ground two hexes away, and rolls a five. The 467 has no TEM. So the roll is a straight five and the squad itself is a one morale check. Now assume that same 467 is in woods as opposed to being in open ground. Again, the Russian squad rolls a five, but now there's a plus one added to the dice roll. So now instead of the squad suffering a one morale check, the squad only suffers a normal morale check. Now let's say the 467 is in this brown building, which is a wooden building. The terrain effects modifier for wooden buildings is a plus two. That same Russian squad rolls a five again. This time, the final, final modified dice roll is a seven. So instead of a morale check of one, the squad only suffers a pin task check. Now, let's put our hapless 467 in a stone building and have the 447 be two hexes away and roll the same five. Now, the five is a modified to an eight because of the plus three for the TEM of the stone building, which has no effect on the German squad.